Kibera, Nairobi's biggest slum. Poverty is high, but a potential solution is close at hand, tyres. Car tyres can be used in a creative way to generate income and save the environment. Nana and Jaguna manufactures sandals from these tyres. Very durable, the material can also be easily cut, glued and decorated. We had to, to look for the material which corresponds with the durability of the, of the weave. So we go on to the tyres, because we realise the tyres are there, they are available. And also with our eco awareness, we choose like we need to reduce the tyre waste in our environment. Even the straps are knotted with recycled nylon. Nana Unjuguna sells the products in malls and street markets. In a week, he produces up to 30 pairs. This customer chooses sandals that were made from the tyres of a minibus, a so-called matatu. You spend a little more for it than you do on other sandals, but it is worth it in the end. So if I buy, I bought this one for 1500 but I'm not regretting buying it for 1500 because I will wear it for more than a year. Look at the tyre. The tyre will last me longer because like, I cannot imagine how long a matatu takes to wear its tyres. So am I lighter than a matatu? That is logic, so <laughs> I will wear it for longer. For every pair of sandals, Nana and Jaguna makes a profit of 1,000 Kenyan shillings. That's the equivalent of 9 euros. But he doesn't keep this money. It goes back to his community in Kibera. His organisation, HIM Nega Shiriki, employs 15 members from the neighbourhood to help him. They collect the tyres in Kibera and knot and weave the straps. By creating an income for people in the slum, Nana and Juguna wants to help prevent crime, so the recycled sandals don't only have an environmental but also a social benefit. You see, like, uh, like their colour, you see around the, the weaving. This one, anyone can learn. Even a class one student can learn how to weave. So the youths who come around, like, in our, in our camp and they say, like, we, are, we have nothing to do. So we teach them how to weave. Nana and Jaguna has started promoting the sandals on the internet and would even like to export them. He hopes that one day sandals from the streets of Kibera will be worn by people on the streets of Europe. <laughs>